What is going on guys? The Inhuman Beatdown. Oh my god, it feels so good to be back. No joke though, despite my latent absence of Marvel content for my channel aside from Spec Ops, it does feel really good to be getting back to it. Despite the fact that I'm still kind of having a kind of love-hate relationship with it right now, and that's more or less just due to the fact that it's... It's still kind of the same thing, but I feel this long break from it will give me a chance to better appreciate things. Anyways, enough talking. Let's continue on with the story. Last time, we entered into Hell's Kitchen and fought not only Bullseye, but Elektra. This is actually ironic due to the fact that Daredevil just came out, or Marvel's Daredevil. God forbid we confuse it with that terrible movie, which, by the way, the movie was not bad because of Ben Affleck. It was bad because it was a bad movie. You can't tell, but I'm waving my finger at the microphone. <laughs> I get so pe tired of people saying, this, Oh, Ben Affleck's the reason that movie sucked! Like, take Ben Affleck out of that movie. Was it still a good movie? Nope! <laughs> Anyways, Marvel's Daredevil was amazing. But enough chatting. Let's, uh... <laughs> Organized criminal gangs are going after a secret ISO-8. Uh... Sim... Sim... Something. Taking place at the UN... Convention Center. It's not the Magia. Who are these goons? And who's in charge? Let's do it! Uh, yeah, because I've five-starred this one, I can just go in with normal. Agent, meet Daniel Rand, better known as Iron Fist. Danny, what have you got? Ugh. There we go. This is why I shouldn't eat before recording. Someone's organizing the local... <laughs> oh my god. I can't do anything right today. Someone's organizing the local criminal element. They're tracking and hitting energy signatures before I can get there. Jack-o'-lantern is in charge of some of them, but he's taking orders from someone else. Then let's find out who. As a sign, I should probably drink more water. Oh, look, speak of the devil. Jack-o'-lantern's already here. Let's go kick his ass. <laughs> What's in this for you, Jack? The demon in your soul doesn't want ISO-8. <laughs> ISO-8 isn't just about science, Danny boy. There are other worlds. Other worlds. And other worlds. Know what I mean? The hood does. So I don't, I'm not going to pretend to know a lot about Jack-O-Lantern, but... Mainly because he just seems like a generic hobgoblin wannabe. <laughs> Tell me he's not. He throws pumpkin bombs, he's themed after a pumpkin, and he flies on something. Anyways. Uh, let's bring Spider-Man to this fight. Mainly just because Spider-Man needs just a little bit more experience to level up. And then I can push him to 14. I still haven't changed him from his future foundation since that review. Then again, not my fault. 100 plus heroes, people needing training, and some more superior than others. Right, spider sense first. Uh, yeah, you're a scrapper, so I'll go ahead and web up a uh, jack o' lantern. Great power. I hate the fact now that, uh, Spider-Man's Spider-Sense doesn't trigger now immediately. <laughs> oh no! Iron Fist is stunned! Whatever will we do? Oh wait, that gets rid of stun. <laughs> God bless Heroic Age Iron Fist. You know what I'm saying? And him out of the way, Jack's not gonna be a problem. Dolgy wasn't going to be a problem. Actually, I'm concerned if I'll even get the 27 experience to level up. Okay, yeah, I got it. <laughs> Who was I kidding? I was going to get that. What was that other world? Did he mean what I think he meant? 
First the hand, now the hood. Things are getting mystical. I hate it when things get mystical. We'll find out from the hood, but I don't think we're going to like the answer. No, probably not. But that's, uh, that's the, uh, that's, that's our business. That's, what, what, what is it I'm trying to say? That's the nature of our business. That's what I'm trying to say. NYPD is getting jittery. They want to send riot squads into our operational zone. Get someone over to one police plaza. Talk them, <laughs> to t talk them out of it before the bystanders get hurt. Well, when I think about talking about getting shit done, I immediately think Dr. Doom. <laughs> Fear not, citizens. We are taking care of this. Aren't you evil? Silence! Alright, so what do we got for this fight? We have a tactician. Uh, okay, everything but a blaster, so I'm free to basically bring whatever I want. So, I think... Because Nova and Chase still need experience, I'll bring Nova and... Uh, got it. It really is refreshing to see that say Skurn and Kurth. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and break Skurn. I haven't, we, we haven't seen much of her. I need to get her up to 13 so I can put one of her empowered isoid on her. <laughs> Only one, though. Only one. <laughs> I'm gonna sweep him. <laughs> Sucks to be you, I can fly. Alright, what is this? Nova punches. Right, first thing's charge flyby because it's quick action, and this for accuracy. Because <laughs> without it, most of his attacks are not going to hit. And hammering blows to set up Skurn. <laughs> By the power of psychic amplification! Science! See, that was a He-Man joke. Ha 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 ha, laugh at my jokes, damn it. Laugh or I will fucking slit all of your throats. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Maybe I'm not. Hey, what does this do? Uh, Catastrophe Nova has Nova Force Control. Okay, that's kind of cool. I haven't seen that before. I haven't used him since he became level 6. Probably a reason he's still level 6. <laughs> Good, Doom finished his rallying. Okay. Yeah, sad. This is the early time of deploys when they didn't have in dialogue. Alright. <laughs> Deploy Null! Breaker of Worlds! <laughs> That makes that hilarious. With all the troubles on the streets, a riot has broken out at this location. Send in Null, Breaker of Worlds, to restore order. That says Luke Cage, but I'm changing it. And send in a bruiser. These goons are bringing heavier weapons into a staging area on the waterfront. Get someone over there who knows the value of a direct approach. <laughs> Direct approach? Well, I mean, we already got one of the other worthy out, so why not send one of the other? Skurn! And I guess we'll fight this big, big one back here, which is basically just the same as what we just got done fighting. So, I'll keep Nova for this one, because experience. And maybe... God, I don't know who I should use. People should just start commenting on teams they want to see me use, so I can uh, think of something. It would certainly help. Oh god. He didn't get much love. Let's use Thing. I mean, especially after we saw like the reboot, how he's gonna look in that. He's gonna look amazing. On that subject, I hate the fact that people are comparing, like, the old Fantastic Four image to the newer one. It's like, think about when the old one was made. It was made 2004-ish. And now it's like 2015. So it's like, of course fucking technology's gotten better where we could probably, like, 
make a better looking thing. Also, that was a much more campier movie back when it's like, comic book heroes had to either be like super campy or they had to be like depressing as fuck, which was unfortunately uh, what Daredevil suffered from because it was the time where Batman made everything dark and like edgy so every other superhero villain or superhero movie had to do it. Wait, did I already get Nova Force Control? Yes, I did. Okay. But yeah. But I, I'm still not completely sold on the Fantastic Four movie, mainly because, well, it's not out yet, for one. I, it's like the way I feel about Ant-Man. It's not out. Everyone's already, like, judging movies and stuff, and they're not out yet. It's like, any one of those has the potential to really suck. What am I building stacks of? Oh, toughness. Okay, I was about to say, what the fuck am I building? It's like, any of those has the potential to suck. It just all depends on when it comes out. It's like everyone's been judging fucking, uh... Oh, what the hell is it? The uh, thing with Ben Affleck. Now I forgot what it was. Batman vs. Superman. It's not out yet. Fucking take a chill pill. I mean, hell, even D Deadpool could suck ass. Take a moment to brace for all of the impact of everyone, like, attacking me. Okay, I think that's enough time. <laughs> But it's like, that could suck too! We don't know! I mean, I thought the De the Deadpool game was gonna be great. It wasn't. I'm just saying. Maybe like, take a chill pill for a minute. Wait. God, that depresses me. There was no dialogue for the hood showing up. Ah, wasted opportunity. Oh, good old missions. Your lack of dialogue is awesome. No, it's not. Oh, shit, she's not done yet. Okay. So we're gonna go fight the hood. Danny Rand, seeker of mystery. The mystery here is what you want with one f with ore from space. It's much more than that. ISO-8 can do things you and S.H.I.E.L.D. cannot even begin to imagine. Step a little closer, and I'll show you what I mean. Challenge accepted. Uh, let's see. What should we have for this fight? I'm thinking... Hmm. God, I don't even know. Tough thing. I don't use him that often, and I'm forced to bring... Iron Fist, regrettably. I wish they'd get rid of that. It's like, it's nice that it's like, oh, here's this hero that you that you can bring for this. But I, I hate it when they force him upon us. Because then it's like, we have two heroes that make it where we can't be teamed up with anyone. Please let me bring them against bosses who give me the most experience. I'm just saying, play Dom if you're listening and you're not. Because I'm a nobody. I don't know why I stopped mid-sentence of that thought, but because I'm a nobody, and I am, no one tried to tell me differently, because, let's face it, I just have 2,000-some subs. I'm a nobody. <laughs> You're not somebody till you have 100,000. That's my way of thinking. Or you've done something real, or you... <laughs> being on YouTube is like being... <laughs> being a band. You don't, you're not good until you're until you have a lot of people following you or you did one thing and that's the only thing that everyone remembers you for and then you faded into obscurity. <laughs> that is the best way I can describe it. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, they're they're not listening, but I mean, come on, let I I still remember the times when you could do it against uh you went. You didn't have a problem with it during epic bosses, and then they changed that because I remember bringing different people to train against Magneto back when I actually farmed 4.4. Oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. Oh, destroyer! How's it going? Bye, destroyer. I just wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way just so I didn't have Tony Stark like as my distress call because I keep accidentally clicking it. There we go. 
Whatever, fucked up the hood, that's all that matters. That brings this battle to a stunning conclusion. I don't know why I was so dramatic about that. <laughs> just, eh. Apparently just going, eh, gets you five command points. <laughs> Where did he go? As soon as we had the upper hand, he opened some kind of portal and vanished. Damn it. Well, at least we've got Jack-o'-lantern. Crack that pumpkin and make him lead us to the hood. Hand do! First, let's go get back Skern, Breaker of Men. <laughs> it's so funny seeing, like, the, uh, seeing them help us now. Well, get them out of the way, because we won't be able to use them in Chapter 2. Everyone gets so mad about that, and I don't know why. It's like, yeah, you can't use them. It's kind of like, you know, they're the bad guys. This isn't something new. Anyways. Would you like to exit the map? Yes, I would. I can't five start no mo. All right, we've got the area locked down, and recovery teams are picking up the remaining eyes to wait. Good work. With the hand and the hood both involved, we need to start investigating supernatural uses for ISO-8. Not my department. It doesn't have to be. We'll turn this over to Strange and Jericho. Was... Wow, was Dr. Voodoo really referenced this early on? Shit. Agent, you're done here. Report to the helicarrier for debriefing. And do! Well, that looks like uh, that'll be it for now, so next time we actually get to head into Mission 5. I don't remember what Mission 5 is. Actually, yes I do. I believe it's the first time we actually run across the Brotherhood! Which will be fun. Prepare to see a lot of X-Men fights in there. So until then, I'll catch you all later. Asta.